Hey, hi, hello, so what's good? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this coppery smoky eye, kind of inspired by Jackie Aina, the queen herself. Um, it wasn't really meant to sound like this, but I'm digging it anyway. So if you want to see how I got this look, then of course, don't go anywhere. Welcome to today's face full of favorites. Now, this look is going to be inspired, is inspired? is inspired by Jackie Aina. I watched her, I think it was the video that she did in collaboration with Mac where she tried on like a couple of new, um, I think they have, like, this, they have this like new matte formula and I think she was like talking about demoing the lipsticks and she also did this like smoky, like burnt orange copper kind of eye that I want to try and like recreate, put my own spin on. So I'm going to do that today using some of my favourite products. Now, I'm a little out of touch with filming. I haven't filmed in a few days. I haven't uploaded in forever. So bear with me if I'm a little awkward. I feel a little bit awkward, but I'll get back into the motion of it. So I'm going to start with priming as always. I'm going to use my Nivea Men Pole Shave Balm Insensitive. I've been talking about this since like the end of summer. I'm a little obsessed with it. I feel a bit weird talking about it again so much considering like no one really uses this anymore but I just can't put it down. I even went to London a couple of weeks ago and I took the um this is the L'Oreal Pore Refining Primer and not only did it separate like when I was squinting it out it was like chunky and disgusting but it just didn't it just didn't do what this does so tried and true I love it. For foundation I've been mixing because I was complaining before about not having a shade, so I've been mixing the L'Oreal True Match. This is like almost out, so I have another bottle here. I'm actually just going to use this one today. There's a tiny bit in the bottom here that I'm going to drain out into something else, but for the purpose of today's video, I'm going to use this one. I think I'm out of focus. So yeah, I've been mixing the L'Oreal True Match in the shade Cappuccino with my Stila Stay All Day in the shade 15 Deep. Now, the funny thing is, this foundation used to be too dark for me, and now it's kind of like... Not too light, but I think it's not quite rich enough. So I'm mixing the two match because this is like orange. And on me, this is like orange in a bottle. So I'm going to mix some of these up on the back of my hand. I will say though, the Stila foundation. Well, this is the old version of it. I do believe they like repackaged it, reformulated it, like re-something it. And this is the older one. And I will say this packaging does suck like what what is this why is my phone going off let me put it on the bed Whee! okay so for the most part i am um, love the formula what is going on here okay <laughs> i love the formula of the steeler stay all day but yeah like i said the shades are a bit iffy so if i mix with the um L'Oreal one, it gets the job done. Also, my skin has been so grotesque lately. I think it's because it's getting colder here now. Like, it's already gone from being like mid 20s to mid 10s, and now it's sliding down into single digits, and my skin just looks disgraceful. Like, it just looks so textured, and it's really annoying me. Like, it looks really dry and gross. I think I'm gonna have to bust out the sheet masks very soon ugh that's gross i i'm just making some more foundation and i think because my skin looks disgusting um i'm having to use more foundation even though now i think i've gotten too much annoying but yeah i'm just applying with my real technique sponge as always i love wearing my nose stud that's another favorite um i've had my nose pierced since i was like 20 and I do love wearing it, but it's so annoying having to have it in where um, when I'm applying makeup because it's covered in foundation. Um, I hadn't worn it for months, so when I put a new stud in, it like broke the seal. So I have to keep it in, and it's so annoying. Okay, no amount of foundation is gonna make my skin look good, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop in a minute <laughs> because honestly. Oh my god, this looks so textured and disgusting. Ugh. So I'm gonna get this off the back of my hand real quick. 
I don't have a favourite concealer, but what I've been making do with is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Chestnut and mixing it with the Maybelline Instant Age Eraser Concealer in the shade Tan. So again, I'm just going to mix them up. Ah! I hate this packaging so much. Oh, so irritating, but I'm just going to mix them on the back of my hand. And for some reason today, I feel the strange urge to do one eye at a time. So I'm going to do that. I've only just realised as well that one of my nails broke. <laughs> I was trying to put concealer on. I was trying to put concealer on with my middle finger, and I was like, "Wait, hold on, what's going on?" I'm also going to put more concealer on my eyelid for um for a little bit of eyeshadow. But let me just make sure everything's all even now. Because I did this eye first. And there's product on the sponge, this eye doesn't have as much concealer on, so I'm just going to go back over it to make sure they're all matchy matchy, you feel me? Well, as matchy matchy as I can get them because my left eye isn't, my left side of my face never looks the same as my right. But no one cares, no one cares. I'm going to put a bit on my forehead. Not too much though because I'm not about that like centre forehead highlight. Um, demanding all the attention in the room kind of life, you know? I like to highlight the shape of my face and because my face is quite heart shaped, I like to bring on my cheekbones and like let the rest like do what it do, you know? You feel me? I think I have makeup on my contact lens. Hmm, fun. Okay, I'll put a bit on my chin as well because um, I'm just using it up. <laughs> oh, Crizzle. So now I'm gonna powder with my Beauty Bakery Flower Powder in the shade yellow this is like my tried and true my ride or die although i do want to try the um makeup revolution is that what it's called yeah the makeup revolution um translucent not the banana i don't want that one because i feel like it's going to be too yellow but i do want to try the translucent because sometimes banana powders are too yellow and too ashy and i'm not trying to live like that I'm not trying to live that life, so. Like, this um, powder is yellow, but it's like, it, but it's, I can't even speak. This powder is yellow, but it has a um, creaminess to it, so it doesn't look like trash. You feel me? Okay, I'm going to blend my forehead creases out. I've also been kind of, like, baking. And I don't bake with a sponge because when I use a sponge I will put too much product on and I look crazy. So what I've been doing is just layering a powder up where my face creases so across my forehead in my smile lines and the sides of my nose as well. And then right here, both my fingers right here where I have a lot of darkness, I will add a bit more powder there as well. I haven't colour corrected in like 50,000 years, so this is just what I do. Colour correcting is like an extra step and I can't be bothered. Because I'm already putting powder on, so like, you know, it's no big deal to just put some more powder on. Um, Put some of that powder on my nose. Usually just what's left on the brush goes on my nose. Okie dokie. So I usually let that sit for like seconds. I don't really sit and bake, bake. I'm not a baker like that. I do my baking in the kitchen, you feel me? So this is gonna leave in like 2.5 seconds. But I feel like it really does help with preventing this area from creasing and here and here from creasing. So anyway, I'm gonna take my sad amount of MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark Deepest, Dark Deepest and just buff away this powder i do have a backup of this i'm just trying to get the last last bit of this out it's actually more annoying than anything i just want to i just want to get my new one out but <laughs> we've got to use it but yeah this powder is everything and it lasts so long i don't know what it i don't i don't like how much they give you 10 grams, which I think is a decent amount, but by the same token, I'm like, oh my god, I've had this powder for like well over a year. 
and I use it literally every single time I put makeup on, I use this powder. Every single time. Every single time. It's such a nice finishing powder. Even if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup, I will put this on on its own and then just like do brows and mascara and go. And I like sometimes. <laughs> Or like a glowy blush or whatever. But this powder does everything and it really helps smooth skin out. I don't look as textured anymore. I don't look as crazy. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to do my brows now. I don't have a favourite brow product either. I've just been using my W7 quad, which I can't find. So hold on. Yeah, I've just been using this quad here from W7. I use the two darker shades. Oh, where's my spoolie? Oh my god. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows, probably off camera or, I mean, I'm gonna cut it out, I'm gonna speed over it so you don't have to see it for 25 minutes and watch me fill in my brows, cause that's boring. I will say though, I do like using this powder because it's fast. And I don't wanna sit here for 12 years and do my brows. I used to use a um, brow pencil and I like using a brow pencil, but you have to be like so precise with it and I just don't have the time. Because my brows are so boring. I don't want to sit here for a decade and do brows. See, like, that's mostly done already. Just throw the powder in and go, girl. It probably makes my eyebrow game kind of dated. Because it's just, like, one fuzzy block of fuzz. Fuzzy, fuzz, fuzz. <laughs> but I don't care. They, they match. Kind of. But like I said, I'm not going to sit here for five hours. So that will do. Maybe. I'm like the kind of person who needs like super defined brows, super dark brows. I just need them to be more than what I have naturally and I think I've achieved that. Although I do like a good tail, so I don't know what's going on here. Ugh, they're bad. But whatever. So now I'm going to bring me in a little closer. Hi. So I'm gonna grab some what is this called? Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C10. Add it to the back of my hand. I'm just going to mix it in with the concealer that I already have on there. And use this to prime my lids. I really want to try the P. Louise eyeshadow base. Because everyone's raving about it. But I don't know which shade to get. Like, which shade should I get? If you know which shade I should get, let me know. <laughs> So I'm going to pull out a palette that I don't think I've actually used on camera yet. It's the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat. I'm going to go in with the shade... What's it called? Heist. Which is this like dark bunny orange shade. Now I watched Jackie's video... Oh, okay. Wait. First of all, my face is creased. So hold on. <laughs> that is how easy my eyes crease. Like I was literally just minding my own business. Okay. So I watched Jackie's video once and I don't quite remember the technique she used but I remember the colours she used so I'm just gonna go in with that mentality and do my best I don't know why I'm using this brush for this I'm gonna switch to my MUA E3 all these brushes that I'm using today are some of my favourite brushes y'all already know I talk about these brushes in every single video okay that's better so I'm gonna stamp and I'm gonna like blend. Um, oh, I have used this palette on camera a while ago. See, now I wanna switch to this brush again. I feel like this one's too big, but the one I'm using is too small. Do I have any in between? Not really, so we're just gonna keep, keep on keeping on. I had it in my head that I was going to do one eye on camera and do the other eye, do the other eye off camera, but I've changed my mind. So, bear with me two seconds. So now I'm mostly happy with the placement of that shadow. I'm going to go in with the same brush. I'm going to Wild Thing, which is like a brighter orange, and just use that to blend the edges out. There's something that's to my eyelid and I can't get it off, so we're just going to blend around it. <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with the Emmy, no, with the Morphe E27 that I was kind of using earlier, but then, like, not really. Just to blend. Somebody get out. Did she use, like, a, an outer V colour? I feel like she didn't. She might have done. 
But I'm going to go in with heist again and I'm just going to stamp that all over my lid. Like so. Oh, I'm going to go in with this pencil brush. This is not the one I want to use, but the one I do want I can't find. So let's just say a quick prayer for me. Now I'm going to go in with... Oh my god, I nearly dropped it. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with my Morphe 350 and I'm going to use this... What is it? This dark brown shade here. To... Okay, I'm going to pull it out here, kind of like in a wing shape. And then I'm going to throw it all along the lash line. I'm going to really thicken that up there. There we go. I used to do um, looks like this all the time, like before my YouTube channel. I always used to use dark eyeshadows to, to wing out and smoke out my um, lash line. I haven't done it in a while. And then Jackie did it, and I was like, oh, girl, yes. Okay, considering I didn't want to use this brush, this is, like, perfect for it. I'm really going to layer that shadow up so it's, like, really dark. I'm also going to use the same brush and the same shadow to bring it down on my lower lash line to get some really smoky vibes in here. Let's do the other way. Now, my wings are going to look completely different. I'm just letting you know from the jump that I'm not very good at having my wings match, but that's okay. It's because my, um, my eyes are different shapes, so it's hard to get the... So while the... It's because my eyes are different shapes, so whilst the wing will match my eye, my eyes don't match each other, so... Yeah, it's a struggle, but I'm kind of over it. And I'm always more heavy-handed on the left side of my face, so we will see what we get but sometimes you just gotta work with what you got so if my eyes are lopsided my eyes are lopsided to be honest i've got done this entire look with my morphe palette but in mind we're here now okay so i think that looks okay they don't match at all but you can kind of see this eye is more rounded and this eye is rounded still but more elongated so my lash line goes this way Whereas this one goes up, see? Because my eyes are different shapes. But it's fine, moving on. So now I'm going to go with my Zoeva 226 Mojo Brush, which has red eyeshadow on it, ignore that. But it's fine because we're using black. I'm going to go in with my favourite black, which is Corrupt by Makeup Geek. It's one of the blackest blacks I've ever used. And I'm just going to lightly blend that really close to the lash line and on the edge of that wing so it's like a cute kind of ombre vibe maybe but I have to be really careful with the eyeshadow because it's really dark this black is black so you can see that the, the brown is still doing her damn thing but the black is also popping on and now with the pencil brush that is under here I'm just gonna blend the black into the brown a little bit so it's not as harsh just a little because we don't want it to overpower the brown and black be like that I feel like this is like nothing like Jackie's look like now I'm here I'm like this is not what I had in mind it's just got like real crazy real quick but it's okay Ugh. I use a really tiny desk when I'm doing my makeup so Everything's like stacked on top of each other and I can never reach anything and it's kind of annoying. Oh, I forgot to do my lower lash line on my left eye. Why didn't y'all tell me? Y'all oh, shit. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so this probably has some black on now, but it's alright. I'm now going to go with my NYX glitter primer and I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow base because it helps prevent um, shimmer shadows from transferring on my headed eyelids. So I'm just going to rub it between my fingers and then... Oh, my fingers are so big. Okay, that's not what I want to do at all. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm going with a brush. This here lip brush. I think it's a lip brush. I don't know. It's kind of angled. Is it a lip brush? Probably not. Probably a liner brush. But and I'm just going to like dab, 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 dab. Dab, 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 dab. And then I'm going to go back into my Morphe palette. And I'm going into this like coppery 
orange shade here and I'm going to put that right over where I've put that primer in the same kind of dabbing motion I don't want to swipe it because I think it will be too pigmented because this is a really good like foiled metallic shade what we're just trying to dab today I didn't do that. If anyone asks, I did not just dab in the video. It's not, it is 2018, I did not dab. I have my focus for this, for like enough of this video that I can use the footage. I filmed a video last week and because I was told, so busy, like in my feelings, I told this like whole story about this guy I used to talk to, like all this stuff, and I was out of focus for like the entirety of the thing. I was just like, well, I guess that autofocus was not on fleek that day. And I was so in my feelings that I wasn't even paying attention to it. Speaking of being in my feelings, I've... Okay, really? Did I just do that? Hold on. I need to fix that. I've had Free and Drake in my feelings stuck in my head for literally weeks. Days? Okay, I think it's been since Friday. And today is Thursday, so a week. Um, I was in the car with my mum and it came on the radio and I was like, oh god. Like, I don't listen to it because it's going to be stuck in my head for ever. And literally, all week I've been like, Kiki, do you love me? Are you ready? And it's so annoying. I just put it in, like, every single moment of my life. And I was like, Mommy, do you love me? And I call my brother Broski, so I'm like, Broski, do you love me? And he's like, I'm going to kill you. I mean, he's 10, so I don't blame him. But, ugh, so annoying. YouTube, do you love me? Are you right? Do your makeup gun, shut up, you're so annoying. Oh, this is really pretty. Dramatic, but pretty. Okay, so for an inner corner highlight, we're gonna go in with the highlight shade that I'm gonna use. So, um, obviously, this wouldn't be like a Jackie, Jackie, if it like, obviously, this wouldn't be a Jackie Ina inspired look without an inner corner highlight. Obviously, this wouldn't be a Nell Valentine look without an inner corner highlight. So. We're going to pull out Le Peach by Jackie herself. And I'm actually going to use the pencil brush I used for my eyeshadow. So let me get all the product off that. I'm going to pop the tiniest bit of this in the inner corner. This is like a little bit too golden for what I wanted. So, oh, okay, move. Let me grab another one. Is my phone again? No. Hello. Okay, you see, because it, it just adds a bit more depth and it coincides with the look better. So I'm going to do lashes now. These are the GWA Fantasy lashes that I wear all the time. My tried and trues have vanished, so I'm pulling out a new box. So I'm going to put some glue on these lashes. I'm using Duo Lash Glue because it bangs. So while that is drying, I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. Hi! Hello, and I'm going to do some blush. I've been obsessed with this blush combo lately. You can't tell me nothing while I'm wearing this blush combo. This is the Sleek... Sorry, excuse my mess. This is the Sleek Blush by 3 palette um, in the shade Pumpkin. I'm trying not to show you my mess. Hold on. There you go. I'm going to use this matte orange shade here and this like sh shimmery-ish orangey red shade. With a light hand, because your girl's not trying to cook a clown. And I think because they're orange blushes, they will really complement this look. Also, please ignore any foolishness you see with my hair. I'm growing it out. So, that's the deal on that. And if you ever put on too much, what I like to do is just go over it with the brush that I applied my powder with. So for highlighter, I'm going back into Le Peach because this blush and then Le Peach on the t on oh, I can't even speak. It's that good. I can't even speak. I'm gonna take a little bit. That's way too much. Okay, and just whoo because it's really bronzy and peachy. It really complements this highlight. I mean, it really complements this blush so well, and they look so good together. And I'm just living for it. Um, I need a little brush to apply some nose highlight wear. Let's use this one. Let's see. If I've also been applying highlight just to the t really. 
really just to the tip of my nose because I have a big nose and sometimes she does too much and then sometimes she puts the highlighter on and it's all gone so yeah sometimes I'll put highlighter on my nose and it's literally everywhere so I think just there in the middle it's, oh I forgot to put blush on my nose man okay let me do that real quick and then I put my lashes on and then I can do lips and then I'm done I put blush on my nose all the time I think it's super cute I also like to put it only on the tip of my nose because like I said um, I limit my face shape if I put it across the bridge of my nose it would be like in my under eye highlight and like all that mess I'm not trying to look like a crazy person so I forgot to put mascara on so let me do that real quick this is the Essence I Love Extreme Volume Mascara and Although you won't be able to see, um, because I'm going to have lashes on, this mascara does bang. Because they're fresh out of the box, they give me a little bit of attitude. And because of the shape of the eyeliner, and like, well, the eyeshadow did, it doesn't, the lash doesn't cover it up, but it just makes it look longer and flat here. Yeah. Okay, so lashes are done! Oh, I love these lashes, and I love how it looks with this look. It's like, super flirty and sexy, you know? They're not on perfectly, but I think like from a distance, I'm telling you. So let me just zoom you back out again. So you've been like in, out, in, out, in, out. But you're staying out now. <laughs> Stay there. So let me do lips. Okay, Jackie did a nude lip. I never wear nude lips. Should I do a nude lip? Um, let's do a brown lip. Let's do a fave. Y'all already know. Dwarf Cosmetics. Use code Valentine for 30% off. Um, Boss Lady. The Goat. I want to talk about my brown lip, honestly. Please. This lip, this whole look, okay. So I was digging through my makeup bag the other day looking for something else. I think I was looking for more lashes. And I found my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. And I used to be obsessed with this, right? So I was checking if the phone was going up. It's not. So I picked it up again recently and girl, this setting spray is just a setting spray. It's the goat. It's, it's the goat. So I'm going to set my face real quick. Although I don't like the pump. I don't like the pump. I, my face gets real wet real quick. So I'm going to literally hold it here. <laughs> so this is the final completed look. Um, it didn't quite turn out how I imagined it was. I imagined it would. But I'm still not mad at it. It's still like a nice coppery smoky eye. And I am... Um, quite happy with it so um that's it for me if you like this video give me a big thumbs up that lets me know that you like these kind of chatty videos my nose is itching hold on mm -hmm. and subscribe if you haven't already and as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye guys